So in order to do that, we'll have to talk first about the writing process. Now, the writing process uh, looks very complicated, but it can be simplified if we divide it into different stages and if we take our time preparing and thinking about it. The first stage is really important because it's pre-writing. So when you pre-write, your first draft will have mainly a lot of your ideas in free flow, whatever you've been writing uh, as they came to your mind. But of course, these could be changed and polished and um, made much better as time goes on. So the fourth stage would be redrafting and revising. Um, when you redraft and when you revise, of course, you make all the um, different changes that you want to, to, make it, uh, to improve it and to make it of a better quality. So these changes could be adding more things, deleting some things that you already put in, which look good in the beginning, but don't look so good now. And uh, then uh, also making uh, changes in, you know, uh, improving the grammar, the spelling, the punctuation, all the different things, the mechanics that you would not have been able to pay attention to before because you were so busy putting your ideas down and jotting them down. And the last stage would be editing and proofreading. So when you edit and proofread, uh, this is the uh, stage when just before you actually finalize everything and submit it. At this stage, it would be good to give it a fresh idea, give it to someone else who could read it, who could look at it, and maybe give you their unbiased opinion about how it was. And also they could make a few suggestions. Now, it doesn't mean that these stages have to be actually following uh, very strictly with one another, but uh, they could interchange, they could overlap, and whatever suits you and whatever you're comfortable with. So um, when we've got the idea of the whole writing process, then it beca becomes easier for us to see where our introduction uh, is in position, in which position it is in. So the outline of essay writing, and here we come to the introduction. As you can see, it's right in the beginning. It starts with the hook, and I'm going to be explaining in the later slides what exactly a hook is, what types of hooks they are, and why hooks are so important. Then you give some background information. Now, this background information can also be given to other terms. It's called a bridge, or it's called a transition. And then you arrive at your thesis statement towards the end of your introductory paragraph. Then you have body paragraphs, which will have a topic sentence, examples, quotes, evidence, explanations, and transitions. I won't dwell too much on this because our focus is mainly, mainly the introduction. And we come to the conclusion. Now, why the conclusion is also important is because we are restating our pieces. Something that we're touching upon in this presentation is going to be restated again in the conclusion. Uh, you're going to evaluate your thesis and see whether you actually reached a certain point of view. Have you given the reader clarity uh, with the thesis that you began with? Have you rounded off and come back to the same thesis, the same idea? And you give your final statement, which could be a figurative statement. It could be an analogy. Uh, it could be explained in the most clear manner that you thought was possible. 